Hey, this is Al McGee with your entertainment ticket at www.yeticket.com. I'm here at West Boca High School, but this is really not the high school, not, and this is not the reason I'm really here. I'm here for a slow burn theater. They have a new production called Sweeney Todd, which is opening up this weekend, and uh, I'm talking to the artistic director, well, one of the artistic directors here, Matthew Kalinko, right? Yes. How are you doing? Very good. Thanks for coming out. Now tell us about Slow Burn Theater. Uh, Slow Burn Theater started in uh, February of 2010 uh, when Patrick, uh, and Patrick Fitzwater, who's the other artistic director that you made reference to, uh, when we came down here to South Florida, uh, we were accustomed to you know some risk-taking theater companies that we'd seen and participated with in St. Louis. So we looked for a theater company that we could kind of latch on to and participate in that was doing the you know the the not so typical or traditional musical. And while there were a couple of companies that did them every now and then, there wasn't one that did them with consistency. So Not at all. <laughs> I'm from Chicago, I'm from, and theater's my background. I love yeah. theater. I got down here, oh my goodness, I almost stabbed myself in the heart because I couldn't find anything like that, and there was not a lot of theater here in, in South Florida. So I guess you felt the same way. Exactly. And and we just got to a point where like, all right, are we going to are we going to settle for just having it every now and then or uh, you know, since we both been doing uh, theater since grade school, really. We had, you know, uh, 50 years between the two of us of theater experience. We're like, all right, you know, why not? Let's give it a shot. And the audiences here have really responded. And, uh, you know, with uh, uh, we got a little bit of eye rolling when we first came out saying, all right, you guys are going to do Bat Boy and Assassins and Kiss of the Spider Woman, and you think you're going to be successful. Uh, I don't know that those people were giving our audiences credit enough they would embrace it and they they have in spades wow that's great uh, because again you took it to your own selves and you, and you created it and created your own uh, theater here in south florida has it been difficult oh sure it's always it's had challenges but but what's been great about it is it's attracted the uh, the people i mean it started with two of us but it certainly takes a lot more than two people you know to get us to the point where we are now um what happened is we attracted those people that in college wanted or needed to do this kind of thing. There are a lot of people who can, you know, who can go and do, you know, whatever whatever kind of show it is, uh, and, and and you know get it out of that. But we needed to to have a little more substance to our musical, uh, to delve a little bit more into psychology and things like that. Yeah, those plays are those musicals are very good, and also they they have a lot of character, uh, really character driven. Also, in those musicals, the ones you just mentioned and and the ones you just produced. Now, what's the uh Definition of slow burn. Why the title slow burn? Uh -huh. uh, slow burn is that it's that that something's going to happen, and we want to be that 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 ember. You know what I mean? That yes. could burst into flame. That it's the kind of people that we that we attract are those people that have that burn inside them that have to do this crazy, you know, uh, business called show. Well, tell us a little bit about yourself. You said you've been in theater for, for many, many years, and, and you moved here to South Florida. Tell us a little bit about yourself, Matthew. Uh, well, I grew up in Wisconsin. I, my first taste of the theater was a talent show in second grade, and you know, from then on, from then on, I, I, I had to do this stuff, and not to be that, that rewarding experience that it can be. And really, once you have that, you, you, you keep seeking it out. And that's why uh, when we moved down here and really didn't have, couldn't find that outlet, we had to, we had to create one. And it's really, and it's really caught fire. Um, the people that we have working for us are, are really, you know, in it for the right reasons, in it for the art form. And, uh, and it really, and it, and it projects off the stage. And that's what the audiences uh, feel and come back for. Now, what about talent? Is it hard to find good talent here in South Florida, especially here in Boca Raton, my hometown, <laughs> where I live? No. Uh, I mean, you would think uh, with, with a lot of the big companies that hire out of New York and L.A. and things like that, you would think that there's a pretty shallow talent pool here. 
But if there's anything we've proven is that it's it, that it's very deep indeed. It's uh, uh, a, a lot of our alumni have gone out now to work for some of these bigger companies, and it's it's very rewarding to to be the the ones who discovered them. And it's th we'll have their casting directors go, "Well, where did you find these people?" Mm. And we just tell them, "I go, we, they've probably auditioned for you before. It's just that you've never taken the risk on them." And uh, and we've. You know, we reap the rewards of having taken the risk on some really, really talented people that are down here. And you see them even coming out of the high schools. We'll judge some of the thespian festivals and things like that. And, and boy, not only is the talent good down here, but it's well supported. Yeah, it is. I, I used to be a, a theater a teacher in a public school system in Miami. And also I taught uh, on the university level, too. And, and I was just amazed of this young talent, you know, coming through the schools, uh, especially the school system, and, and how they were really braver in it and how they were really enthusiastic about theater yeah and it comes from the it comes from the teachers too we've got we've got a lot of school groups that come to our shows from Boca from uh, Olympic Heights uh, you know from further south and and their 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 teachers are passionate about it and I remember mine from high school Kit Donahue she was uh, oh, you still remember her name, huh? Of course I do. <laughs> of course I do. She was she was the one that that really cultivated the, you know my my love of theater and said, "Go, you can do this." Wow. You know, and we've got those. And I've seen I've seen the, the the teachers down here, and they're very much like that. It's cool to see. Yeah, it, it really is. And uh, one more thing about uh, tell us about the show again that's opening up this weekend, Sweeney Todd. Yes, yeah, Sweeney Todd, the Demon Barber of Fleet Street, widely regarded as Stephen Sondheim's masterpiece. Though there's, you know, you, you could get into lively debate over which one of his, his best shows, and everybody's going to have a different one or a favorite of theirs. Uh, we open on Friday the 12th. We have shows Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Fridays and Saturdays at 8, Sundays at 2. And it's for two weekends, so we'll close on the 21st. Uh, you can get your tickets at Ovation Tix, which is 866-811-4111, or at Slow Burn Theater, T-H-E-A-T-R-E, dot -E org. Well, thank you, Matthew. Thank and you. I'll put that information up, too, uh, with this uh, interview, okay? Great. Hey, thank you for taking the time on YETicket.com, and I will see the show for sure. All right. All right, and then <laughs> I'll, I'll, make a, you know, I'll do a review myself. Perfect. Okay? Great. All right, thank you very much. Thank you. Hey, thanks for watching YETicket.com at www.yeticket.com, your entertainment ticket. I appreciate you watching, and please watch again. You are watching YETicket.com with Al McGee, movie reviews and interviews. This is YETicket.com. YETicket.com, your entertainment ticket. We are your entertainment ticket, that's right. YETicket.com, we are your entertainment ticket, that's right. YETicket.com, dot com, YETicket.com. Entertainment ticket, that's right. Why you to